Hey everyone, welcome back to Retro Games Rediscovered. Now if you've been following my channel, you might remember my video on mounting my Amiga 600, my Amiga 1200 and CD32 to the wall, a project that turned out to be a real favourite of mine. I mean, who doesn't love a bit of practical 3D printing to bring some retro gaming love to their home setup? Today I'm doing something similar, but with a twist. This time it's not about gaming consoles, but some iconic pieces of film and pop culture history in Lego form. I'll be making custom mounts for these legends, the Ghostbusters Ecto-1, Back to the Future's DeLorean, and the Tumblr from the Dark Knight. Stay calm. I purchased these wall mount designs from Colts 3 d where creators share awesome custom files like these. If you want to check them out, I'll leave links in the description below to the exact ones I used. And I couldn't make this possible without the help of PCBWay, my sponsor for today's video. Their 3D printing custom service made crafting these mounts a breeze. With PCBWay's expertise, I was able to get precise, durable 3D prints of these brackets that will hold these builds up safely and look fantastic on the wall. I just received these mounts from PCBWay who printed them out based on the designs from Colts 3D. Let's take a quick look in the box and see how they turned out. First impression, these look fantastic. PTB Way's printing quality is spot on with really clean edges and the sturdiness we need to hold up these Lego models. They've got a range of materials, so if you're thinking of doing your own custom mounts, you've got options. I went for durability here and I'm really, really happy with the results. This was how I used to store my Lego models. Two of them were on a dusty shelf and the tumbler was on top of a cupboard gathering dust. So I decided enough was enough and wanted to get them mounted on the wall. And my walls were in a bad state, so I needed to repair them by filling any holes, sanding that down and then painting. After a couple of hours of work, they were ready for me to start measuring and drilling the holes. One thing I was told was always to remember to measure twice and drill once. So with that in mind, I set to work measuring where the Ecto-1 was going on the wall. I had to then put the wall mount together, being careful not to snap any of the plastic. They fitted together perfectly. Now it was ready to drill into the wall, which I'm happy about, and it fitted perfectly. Moving on to the DeLorean stand now, which I had to glue, as I'd ordered these in a very strong 3D print, which was probably not the best idea, as when it came to assembling the mount, there was no movement in the parts, so they snapped, as you can see. This was no fault of the 3D printing process, completely my fault being too rough. But thankfully, superglue came to the rescue. Next, I drilled into the wall with the stand and assembled the mount where the Lego figures go. The final wall mount was nice and easy for the tumbler. One simple screw in the wall and then sit the tumbler onto it. And there we have it, my very own wall mounted homage to some of the greatest pop culture vehicles ever seen in Lego form. I've got to say, seeing them on the wall like this, I'm so pleased with how they look. Not only do they look smart on the wall, but it also means that they're out of harm's way. I've just got to make sure I dust them regularly. While I was at it, I also decided to put in some shelves for some of my mini consoles and my Atari collection, along with my PlayStation and Mega Drives. Huge thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and making these custom mounts possible with their awesome 3D printing. Let me know in the comments which movie or retro gaming models you'd mount on your walls. Until next time, for Retro Games Rediscovered, I've been Rusty Ingalls.